Hey, 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 welcome to Shopping with Cheryl. I'm Cheryl, and today I want to show you my rotating table. This is 16 and a half inches, so it's a good size table that I can fit a lot of things on. It also holds up to, I believe it's 330 pounds. So I could put something pretty heavy, be it a per piece of furniture or whatever. I can set on here. Now granted, if it's very big, if it's over the 16 inches, I'm gonna have to put another tabletop on, I have a round tabletop, a big one, that I can set on there that adds weight and then put my piece of furniture on that within reason. I like this for doing product videos. Now you can use this to display things in your home. As you can see, I just put a little car on it because I wanted to be able to see over it to show you something that you can see. Right now it's on the go and stop. So it's going to go partial and then stop. So if you had something you want to display, I can also set it, where's my button? Um, to go all the way around and just continuously turn. I think I hit the right button. We will see. Ah, I must have. Now, I can also adjust the speed. So, when I want to make a product video that I want just it spinning and I want it less than one minute because one minute's my cutoff, what I do is I set this for just a little bit over. So, from the start to the finish is just under one minute. So, I know where I start the video, go around, and I have to be complete with whatever I'm going to say by then. It also works if you do Instagram, TikTok, whatever. You can set your speed so it's going to rotate and show whatever you want within a certain time frame. Kind of helps you keep from, you know, going too long. Now, it does plug in and this is ran by battery. I can also set it to do a partial turn, stop, and go back. So if that's something where you just wanted to display the front of an item. Like I said, this is 16 and a half inches. Now I'm going to turn it off for a second and show you what I did. One of my main problems, and I will have an affiliate link for this in the description below. If you use my link and make a purchase, I may make a commission. Now, one of my main problems is when you go to put your item on, if you have it set to the side and it's rotating, it's going to look lopsided. So, measured and put me, yes, this is dirty. It gets used all the time. I put a mark dead center so that that way I know when I go, <laughs> it is filthy, to put my products on it where I need to have the center of that product if it is round or square, or I can offset it a little bit. If your um, product is not square, not round, yes, you're going to see a little bit because when it's sitting here, of course, you're further away than when it's here. So if you're going to use it for video, keep that in mind. Watch a few times, you'll get the hang of it in nothing flat. But I did need to put my my little mark for me, because I had a tendency to get it over to one side or the other, what have you, and then it was really lopsided. That's just par for the course at my house. But I figured I would show it to you because uh, I know some people probably use this to display something um, at home or in a shop. If I had a shop, this would be great for displaying something cool that you need to see all four sides to appreciate. I do a lot of the vertical quick videos for products and I use this so it takes them completely around it in under one minute. Then I just have to talk fast. But you can go check it out. I find it to be super handy. I, when I bought it, I thought, uh, we'll see how it works. I love it. Now I would like to get a small one for jewelry where it's a smaller one because this one's kind of big. If I'm just putting a ring or a pair of earrings, you know, I can make them go, but it's kind of big. So I would like a smaller one. Also, you can make a little cover for this if you don't want the white. 
you have to watch that things don't hang over or it's going to drag and wrinkle. So my suggestion is measure it, make it a little bigger, and then put a piece of elastic so it actually grips up under here and holds on. I have a circle I can put on. So you could use a piece of wood, a piece of cardboard, and just make it a little bit bigger and staple or glue a piece of fabric if you want it to be black, what have you. So go check it out. Make some cool videos or display something cool at your house. I mean, holds up to 330 pounds. I could probably get on here and maybe I'm going to start doing fashion and I'll just stand on there and it can turn me around and I don't have to move. I'll just pose and let it spin. I know you're laughing. I can hear you. Stop. But it would be cool. So hopefully this is something that if you need, you can go check out. Hope you hit that subscribe and the like and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And we will see you in the next video.